Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, I will talk about the running total or rolling total in Power BI. What is running total? A running total is the cumulative sum of a value and all previous values in the column. For example, imagine you are in sales and storing information about the order quantity for a particular day or month. You might want to calculate a running total, the total number of items ordered up to a specific date. Let us jump to the computer for the demo. On your screen, you can see my first line chart order quantity by month. So this is my actual order quantity by month. Now next line chart order quantity running total by month. So this is my actually running total order quantity. So summation of order quantity by month. And here I have a one table that is a month wise order quantity and order quantity running to total. So let me zoom in. So here you can see for the month of April. Order quantity is 804 and running total is also 804. For the month of May, you can see my actual order quantity is 2045 and my running total will be April actual order quantity plus my actual order quantity equal to my running total. That is 2849. For the month of June, I have actual order quantity 1777. So my running total will be April order quantity, May order quantity and June order quantity equal to my running total. So that is 4626. So now let me show you how to calculate a running total using a DAX formula. So let me add a major from modeling tab. I will add a new major. So now I will give name. Running. Total. Order. QTY. So I will use a calculate function and I will say sum of my data table and order quantity. So I'll add a filter. In filter, I will use all select function on table to remove all my filters. So now I will say training sample to month less than or equal to max the training to month. So I am done with my running total calculation. So now I will add a line chart. So here I will on X axis will be my month. And let me make it month and this is my new formula. Running total I will add on Y axis so you can see I will do some. Formatting for this so type will be category. And I will say marker and data level. And in data level, I will. Value will be. Smaller and it will be in thousand. OK, now you can see in thousand. So this is my running total, so let me compare my running total with uh, actual order quantity. So now for this graph, I will add actual order quantity. I will remove a running total and I will add a actual order quantity. So see, this is my order quantity. Now. In actual. Order quantity, if you can see for the month of April, I have a 1K. For May, I have a 2K. So in running total for April, 1K is fine for May 3K. So one plus two 3K. 
for the June 1, 2, 2. So it will be 5 and so on. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel for amazing content. Thank you for watching.